essentially Noah's Ark in virtual reality, but we're talking about a realistic game here. We're not talking about something like Noah in the Flood, you know, like where you have a little <laughs> kid game or something. We're talking about a real game that pretty much anybody would love to play, and you're actually uh, doing sort of an adventure game. It's kind of like almost like Indiana Jones, right? Yep, very much. Uh, if I may, yeah, jump in there. Uh, it's a quest. Um, you're, you've got seven days, as it turns out, Methuselah, uh, passes away and he lets the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, you're each one of these characters during the, the game itself. And your quest is you've got seven days and there's a counter and you're encount encountering the entire pre-flood world. And that means there are dinosaurs of all, of all kinds. Uh, we've got friends at the Institute for Creation Research out of Dallas that are helping us bring back to life some of the most unique dinosaurs that some aren't even in museums, right? And so we're bringing these back to life. You're going to have to fight them, but there's the whole Book of Enoch thing with the fallen angels and the Nephilim, and you're going to be facing Nephilim. You're going on this quest to find Adam's tomb, and there's a lot of historical and theological uh, evidence that Noah did indeed take the bones of Adam and Eve and bring them on the ark before the flood came. And so well, you've got seven days to complete this quest, and each brother has to find a key that they can put at the gate of uh, just outside the Garden of Eden at this tomb that Father Enoch built for Adam and Eve. So, yeah, you've, you've got quite a quest there on your hands. And we're talking about a VR game. We're not talking about a normal, like, PS4, Xbox One game here or something. We're talking about something that's actually sort of uh, on the cutting edge of technology. We're yes. talking about where you're actually wearing like Oculus or something like this, right? Correct. Yeah, that's the great thing about it. Thank you, Tony. Good point. Um, it's going to be available for Steam, Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, and um, PlayStation a VR. So those are the big four right now, and, and it will be available on all four of those starting on Steam. And yeah, most of the VR games is still in its infancy for anybody who's out there playing. VR is still in its infancy. They are desperate for games. Real quickly, the vice president of, of Sony, which is selling millions of units, said we are desperate for content. They need games, a high quality. And ours will be in the upper 5% or less of quality. So um, it's a rarity to have Christians, if you go to noahvr.net, uh, you can see the outline of the game there, and you can see the lead programmers and developer. Tony's a part of our team. Uh, he has been with us for several years now, and it's an honor to know him as a brother in Christ. And this is a miracle, guys. Uh, we need your support, please, because it's not going to happen again. This is a chance where we can break through and create the Internet's first Christian video game company. We all know about the Book of Enoch, the current events and things of that nature, prophecy, and uh, we want to put those cutting-edge things in there eventually after yeah, this. We, we can't underestimate or uh, under, uh, under say, um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, undervalue or whatever you want to call it, yeah. uh, the, uh, what we're doing here because the fact of the matter is there's no other Christian games out there, essentially. There's no companies out there making them. Uh, I mean, there are a few that have come and gone, but there's nothing really uh, substantial out there. So uh, to have something like this and, and to, to spearhead this whole project is, is obviously not an easy undertaking, and we need as much support as we can. I mean, we're, we're going against, it's like David and Goliath. We're going against these behemoth companies that have, you know, like teams of 50 or 100 programmers. They have unlimited budgets, and here we are like a team of three with pretty much a shoestring budget, if, if we can even call it that, right? And <laughs> we're still going. We're still going. And we have one of the best programmers out there, at least from what I understand, he's one of the higher echelon, right? Yep. So, I mean, and he's not exact. I mean, he could easily go and work for one of these companies and make a secular game for probably buku money, but instead he's decided to go this route where he's working for God, trying to make something that will make a difference in this world and hopefully change a lot of people's hearts and minds, right? Amen. Amen. Justin, if I could jump in and just say, so, you know, Tony, we've talked many times, brother, and uh, there's a lot of Christian 
programmers who want to jump in with JIL if we can break through with this. That stands for Jesus is Lord uh, with JIL. So, um, but at the top two guys we have, I beg you to go to NoahVR.net and look at their resumes, uh, particularly. Uh, our friend Tim has had an extensive background in, in NASA, the NSA, and he, and he works for a really cutting-edge uh, VR company right now called Behavior out of Kentucky. He's, he's got experience in Japan with companies for over 10 years there, but he still comes to Justin to ask at times, Justin, how did you do this? <laughs> so that is how amazing Justin is as a programmer. And uh, these so are this guy these has a, a lot of background in uh, programming with VR too, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. In fact, Obviously they're on, they're on the cutting guy, edge of what you medical VR right now with Behavior out of Kentucky. Oh, okay. Behavior is a is a VR company, is what you're saying? Yes, it is. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, they got a cute little that. play on words there. B e h a v r. Get it? Like Behavior, right? And right. so. Uh, but but Tim is uh, I mean they're all they're not the only ones though I've got two guys that recently Justin knows them that came to me and they worked with Activision for Call of Duty I mean they've worked for billion dollar games and they are praying we break through and if I can say it, it takes just one game uh, one hit and the reason I know this game will be a hit is we're not again going up against the iStore store where tens of thousands of games are up there folks VR is in its infancy. It's growing by four to five billion a, a year, and and they are desperate for content. Millions of units are being sold, but there's very few games, very few games for you to choose from. So right, we're going right. to break from out. a marketing standpoint. That makes perfect sense that you would go where nobody else has gone or nobody's right. at right now. You know, you don't want to compete with a million other people. Um, yeah. So yeah, now, especially considering we don't have the budget they have, anyways, to compete with some of those groups. No. And, and the exciting thing is, everybody listening, it only takes 500 of you. If you go, even at a minimum, the minimum on our on our do donation page, and you get perks. I mean, we got some of the coolest shirts. Those shirts are, honestly, I'm telling you right now, we designed them. Justin and I designed them. Those shirts are $35 shirts, and your minimum yeah, is Yeah, they're 30 pretty nice. I've I seen them, too. They look Thank nice. Thank you. Thank you, brother. And that's the minimum. Then we've got exciting ones up there about being a beta tester. Uh, you can get the seven days of creation in VR. We're going to have that. That's our high perk. Uh, the seven days of creation, the fall of Atlantis. These will be com complemented as well as a free copy of the game when it's completed. You'll have the fall of Atlantis, which a lot of biblical scholars believe happened before the flood. And God judged literally Atlantis prior to the flood. But anyway, we're going to have now, a what, bonus. What is, pack. What, what, uh platform are, you, are we using for the uh the donations and all that kind of is it yeah, it will be through paypal it'll oh, go through okay. paypal into our business account we have a jil paypal business account yeah yeah so i was just wondering about website. that you did it before through kickstarter right is that yeah. yeah but the thing with that one is i i you know you have a limited time frame to to raise money and all that and you have to like do it in a certain amount of time and it's kind That's of tricky you know? Yeah, it is. And we need this. And thank you, Tony, for doing it. You're a lifesaver for us, brother. If we can just get 250, 500 committed Christians that will help us with this and just click on the donation page, go to the main page, again, noahvr.net, see the perks, see what you get, and you can become part of the team, the creative team. Uh, we're going right. to put out feedback. And, and, I, I and want to make it clear right now that I've known these guys for years now. I've been working with these guys. This isn't just some guys that I just met yesterday or something. I've actually been working with these guys. I've actually been paying Justin here and there when I have money uh, to God work on games. You, so uh, <laughs> obviously YouTube hasn't made it very easy for us to make money these days compared to what it what used to be. No. But we're still we're still we're still tr surviving. We're still trying to get things done, and uh, you know we're still innovating and and making new games. And we actually have another game that was almost finished, right? And that we were planning yes. on releasing after this um, one. If I could, yeah, let me tell you why no VR is going to, I believe it was directly from the Lord, going to be the foundation stone for all of this, including well, a Canadian Ireland. Yeah, sense, real, real quickly, brother, uh, we have some financial help coming at the beginning of summer from other sources. So we're trying to bridge that gap, guys. Right. Everybody's listening. That's why I say 500 of you. We have a, a sizable amount coming from a friend who's going to put a lot of money in this once he has a sale of a property. Well, we and have to so survive until then. So that's Yes, the that's what we're trying it, to do. And, and, and then, and then uh, obviously, before this, I was helping out with the survival factor because my YouTube is doing quite awesome for a while there, but recently they've decided they don't like us anymore. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I've still been able to survive. You know, it's kind of funny. I've actually, even recently, a couple days ago, I learned some new tricks to, to get things going better. And I actually think I'll do quite well this month. But, you know, up for like three, like four or five months there, I was having a hard time, you know, trying to get things going. And I'm actually, I made new accounts too. So I, I plan on getting those things going really huge in the next three months. So I, I finally get myself back on the right track. But it's just, you know, we're, we're dealing with people who don't care about what we're, we stand for. They, they're actually against us. They don't like things like Noah's Ark. And, of course, when we say Noah's Ark, I'm all, I've probably already showed footage in this video up till now, but we've, we've probably already showed you some footage. But what I'm saying is this is something where you're actually in VR. And we have some of the top people asking Justin for advice on how to do it. We were, I, I mean, to give you an example, you were talking about some of the cutting-edge uh, I guess games that were made before this that were like nothing compared to what we're doing right now, right? Absolutely. If you look, if I may, if you and I'll put a comparison video, it's going to be up on our website there. But if you look at what um, there was a company out there, it's called uh, uh, Verse, v, ironically, VRSE. And they're one of the most left leaning secular groups out there. Okay, Google back them. A guy named Chris Milk, he's the darling of the left as far as programmers go. They put together and got the rights for actually using the title Jurassic World, okay, about a year and a half ago. They put out a unit that sells at Walmart and on Amazon for about 55 bucks. They sold a million point five of those. So, so that's again, just about 70 million, 65, 70 million dollars they made. I'm gonna put a comparison of their graphics against Justin's graphics and you'll be blown away. We blow them out of the water. I mean, it's right. not even close. And, well, see what it is, is that uh, there's so few games being made in this realm and these right. big companies, obviously they've, they've got a monopoly. They don't have to be innovative. It reminds me of the, the website Bing. You know, a lot of people think Bing is a failure, but actually it's a success because everybody has uh, uh, Windows. They all have PC computers, right. and Bing defaults all your browsers to Bing. I mean, Microsoft defaults all your browsers to have Bing on the search and stuff. So they actually make a ton of money from Bing, even though it's not a good, I mean, it's a subpar search engine. Right. And that's the same with this. you got a subpar game, but they got all the connections. they got all the money. they got all this backing from Google, everybody, and they get into all the big stores. And you get a subpar game that everybody has to buy. I mean, we have a game that's like a lot better than theirs, yet we don't have all the connections, we don't have all the money. And if once once you get the game out there and people see it, I think it'll take off on its own. But the the, the fact of the matter is we're a small team. We have to, you know, we need the backing so that we can get it out there. And this is why you have almost no Christian companies out there that do this. And it's amazing because it was the same with the Christian music industry. There was like nothing there for a long time. And then eventually, once they finally broke through, they got a whole entire industry, right? Yep. It's Billions, the same here. We, have, we still have yet yep. to break through in the video game. We've had nonstop devil games for yep. decades now, practically. And all we want to do is break through. Once we break through, you're going to have an entire industry of Christian or family games out there that are going to be, be being made by companies like ours and others that no, didn't exist, an entire industry that never existed. Can you imagine that, that there was no Christian music at all? That's basically right. where we're at with video games. And if you back us, you're gonna essentially uh, spearhead an entire industry. This is kind of right. what we're talking about here. And the salesman part is my part of this too. So yeah, let me give you, if I could, please, just some real quick facts of why this will be successful in the corner zone. Tony, thank you, man. You're yeah. awesome. You knock it out of the park, bro. Um, literally, uh, different individual programmers. This has happened just in the last seven years in programming. Have came up with one game, and that one game went viral. And why we know this one will is because again, uh, we're growing into the next three years. Uh, uh, VR will be 13 billion, 14 billion dollar growth in the industry. Uh, probably by the time we get this out, we're looking, guys, just so they know our timetable. We're looking to have this out by September of October of 2020. Okay, so right around the corner. Okay, by that time there'll be another 10 million units sold 10 million units and they'll maybe have on oculus maybe on oculus quest 40 50 games okay and so uh we're going to be having virtually no competition uh we have beta testers who work for professional gaming teams out there out of las vegas 
and they've competed against the number one team, Echo Fox, out of California, okay? One of our guys is captain of the team is uh, a Christian, the other one isn't. And the other one told me, our game will sell for 30 bucks, right? So they've told me, listen, you give me something quality. This is the secular guy who's not safe, and I will play it. He goes, your game sounds exciting. It's By the way, for our, our people listening, this is from the creationist standpoint. We've got, we've got Bud at the Institute for Creation Research, including Henry Morris III, who's become a really good friend of mine. And so we're coming at, we're going to attack evolution. We're going to have creationist facts all throughout this game about the fossil record, the DNA, and how it can only go back top 10,000 years and stuff like that. So there's going to be all kinds of facts that while kids are playing this game or adults, they're, they're suddenly being, you know, the veils coming off on the lie of evolution, right? And, and, so, and and the funny part. Yeah, go ahead, brother. And then no, I'll, the I'll funny part is all these games that they have out right now, not in the VR realm, but just in you know Xbox One, PS4, is a lot of them take our topics that we talk about and then they go make a game, but then they make it yep. like secular, heartless, yep. cold. You know what I mean? They don't have any real message to them. You know, yep. they'll, they'll do it on whatever sci-fi topic or strange theory out there, you know what I mean, um, that we've talked about and they don't talk about, but then they'll go make a game on it, you know what I mean? But then yep. it, the game will be dark. It won't be yep. full of any light. It won't have any goodness in it. It won't be obviously biblical either, but it will be like a, a sort of a, a twist of it in a, in a bad way, you know what I mean? Yep. And to close it up, bro, exactly right. Exactly right. Um, we've got this ministry. They they, they reach about uh, three to six million a month at ICR. They've been around for 40 plus years. You know, Henry Morris, I used to read his books as a teenager, you know, on creationism and stuff. Yeah, and I'm I did too. I did too. Friends actually. with his grandson. It's like, I'm just blown away by that. But anyway, they're going to use their ministry. When we get this promoted, they're going to use their ministry and do everything they can to get us plugged into the um, Religious Broadcast Association. They're 40 million strong, folks. But let me give you the numbers we're talking here. Even at half a million download, we're looking at 9 million profit. Even at 500,000, the biggest game that has been put out there yet is a game called, um, give me one second, um, I, I almost, I have it on the top of my time, Subnautica. Subnautica has sold uh, just on Steam which is through your computer, that's just computer. Steam, they downloaded over 5 million times Subnautica at $50, well, $40, sorry, they were $40 a pop, folks. 5 million downloads at $40. So even if we get to half a million to a million downloads, and I believe we're going to eclipse that because nobody's ever come in for the families of faith. Nobody's ever come in and created a game for families of faith. I believe every Christian, all let's say 50 to 70 percent of Christians who own a VR unit will say, you got to get Noah VR. And unlike most um, you know, Christian things that are made, they're cheesy. Most of us look at them and we go, well, we're watching it because it's Christian, but it's cheesy. <laughs> Instead, we're ahead of the curve on 95 on percent of the these games are more. Yeah, and, that, and that's the another thing. Yeah, I, I, I want to make it very clear: this is not a game where it's just some goofy, cheesy stuff, and it's not right. cartoonish. It's not like little kids thing. We're talking about something right. that any teenager or adult might play. Actually, probably more teenager, twenty, thirty. You know what I mean? Anybody that's into games would really love this, and it's it's realistic type of graphics. Not you know this. I mean, it's sort of surreal, obviously, but it's not. Um, you know, like cartoonish and silly kid type stuff. So um, I just want yeah. to make that clear. Thank you, brother. 100%. That's great. Yeah. Well, one of the brothers and all three brothers and what we want to do is because all of us came from one of these three brothers. And what we want to show is they loved each other. They were brothers. They were the survivors. The whole human race came from these three guys. Right. And so we want to show that God loves everyone and everyone in this is going to be a hero. Shem, Ham and Japheth at times are heroic. And you're going to have to one brother has to actually go underwater and go on this quest underwater to get to this one antechamber. And one's going to fly. There's good. We believe there was higher technology than we're told in the past and he's going to have an amazing glider that's the one tim's designing right now he worked for nasa he's designing our ancient hang glider that you're going to use in the game you're going to encounter and then the other brother has to go through the under underground you're going to have these caverns that you go through that you'll get the roller coaster effect on these uh it's going to be something like out of indiana jones where they were on the mine cars you're going to be going underneath the earth through these mine cars you're going to be flying in three in virtual reality and you're going to be swimming with creatures like Leviathan from from Job chapter 41 in the Bible. Uh, you're going to actually 
have the most amazing experiences with dinosaurs. Some of them are going to be docile. You can actually reach out and touch them. And then there's the T-Rexes and so on. So it's going to, it's literally, there's, there's some games, like if I may real fast, there's a game called Climb, The Climb, right, Justin? And, and this was the number one game on Oculus Rift. It's still the highest thing, and all it was about was climbing mountains. Well, we got news. You're going to be virtual reality climbing mountains. One of the brothers has to go through a mountainous area, and you'll get to experience a mountain climb where you're hanging by a thread. You know, you're going to experience the roller coaster effect, uh, flying. All of these have individually become hit games in VR. We're going to have them all in this game, this one game. Amen, for 30 bro. bucks which is going to go i believe it's going to go off the charts oh yeah i think i think also you know i mean just look at uh this whole uh i don't know what it's called i think it's called arc encounter um that uh ken ham came out with right? right that thing has actually been a very huge success as well yes and i mean i actually went and saw it myself i don't know if you guys did or not but oh i'm great here tell us yeah, it was it was pretty cool actually. It was kind of fun. Um, there's also animals in the back after you go through the whole arc. The arc has like you know sound effects in it and stuff. You don't really have animals in it, but they have a lot of different like scenes and stuff and and uh, like setups and, and and audio and then like also explanations of different things that were on you know the arc and then just history and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of hard to explain. There's a lot of stuff on it, but. Uh, behind it, of course, they have animals you can ride and stuff too, you know, for the little kids and stuff. But yes. I mean, the the thing is, though, is a lot of people just think that that stuff will not sell, but they they become huge success because nobody's doing it, and because also uh, a lot of these secular games are essentially taking our stuff. They're like ripping yep. off our stories, and then they they take them and twist them and make them into something dark. And so Absolutely. it's really ridiculous because if anything, they're actually taking our stuff. And, and if anybody should be saying a lot of the stories that you see in some of these games, it should be us because it's just kind of funny how they take our stuff. I mean, I'm not saying all games, obviously, but maybe like, you know, at least there's like a percentage out there, maybe 10, 20 percent where they take our, you know, things in depth, stories that we have Correct. ourselves on YouTube or whatever, you know what I mean? Different history. Can I tell you a monster hit that did that basically with the Noah store? I mean, the you know, you know ready for this? There's an anime one out of Japan called Attack Titan or Attack on Titan. And all they've done, it's hilarious to watch these kids go nuts for it. I mean, kid, kids from 13 years old to 40 are insane over this show called Attack on Titan. They put out a video game on it and what it showed is it puts you in a different world and there are these giants coming to kill the humans they're naked actually in the thing it's hilarious yeah, they just take the story from book yeah. of enoch right that's what they did that's what they did and so it's this just is like the matrix the matrix also the takes stuff from the, the bible all these yeah. do and it was a major hit they sold millions of copies of that game for playstation even, even and, star wars even uh george lucas admitted some of the themes and elements in star wars is is taken from things from the bible Yep. And, I mean, yep. it's just, I did a video some years ago about that, but I mean, there's so many things like that out there now where they just, and it's, it's, it, you don't know it because you don't realize that's what makes the movie so good is they take these themes that are actually from the Bible and they, they make them into like the way he was born and such, uh, in Star Wars, things like that. Yep. Uh, it's, it, there's only a mother and stuff like that. They actually took themes like that out Fresh of it. Birth, yeah. But, and, and they did that with the Matrix as well, you know, and they did that with a lot of movies. And a lot of games, too. So it's just kind of funny how they keep doing that. And nobody really notices or, or realizes that's what they're doing. Disney, that's their entire thing. You know, they pretty much take stories from the past, famous stories, and they just remake it. And then they take all the good stuff out of it. Yes. <laughs> and right? turn it into some, you know, goofy gelatin whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, satanic, to be honest, in some yeah, cases. Well, yeah, and, a lot of them, too. Yeah. yeah. And and lo and behold, here we're giving them the true story. You're going to encounter oh. Nephilim. You're going to encounter giants, and they're going to come after you. And so there'll be a portion where you've got to get through these creatures and these individuals. And they're going to be vignettes if we get the budget. And I know we're going to have it after summer. Justin and I already know that. We've got to get through to that point to keep this team together. And that's where we need you guys out, out there. Please, so we don't lose this team right now. But uh, lo and behold, uh, we'll be able to have vignettes, video vignettes that tell the story at the end. 
in, you're going to be getting on the ark just in the last, you know, nick of time. And the Lord, people miss this in scripture, by the way, the Lord closed them in. Not everybody in a movie when they've done it shows Noah and his family closing the door. That's not what God did. Imagine a ship the size of a World War II aircraft carrier and the door's too big for them to close. This is all a picture of faith. We've got a story here, folks, and we're going to tell it. And the Lord closes them in. But they're literally going to get in just in time. And you're going to see this in virtual reality as the Lord closes them in and calls down the flood on the earth. It is going to be an epic game. It'll blow you away. And we're going to have these video vignettes through different seasons of it and we're going to tell the story of Enoch and then a sequel off of this that we'd like to do is to go back to the time of Enoch it's going to be called the sons of Elohim and these will be warriors who are chosen now just as the fallen ones come down from the heavens and begin to pervert the earth and you're going to have these heroes almost like Jedi Knights that are chosen by Enoch and he disappears kind of like Aslan. It tells us in the book of Enoch he would go away and be concealed by the Lord at times. And when he would reemerge, everybody would come to hear him, right? So we want to have sequel prequels off of this with the sons of Elohim that will be guided by God and Enoch against the uh, fallen ones uh, during the pre-flood world. So we've got more games. If you help us finish this off that, then Secrets of Acadian Island, which I know you've shared with them, Anthony, and the one we had already been working on for some time to get up on the app store but this baby's going to be the cornerstone of the whole thing and if i may add one more thing just sauce for the goose as they say we're talking with people that know i'm afraid to use his name because of, of the new algorithms on youtube but he's created a counter to youtube and we want to do a better version of that and if we have the money we'll be able to but here's the thing folks for everybody listening i already told anthony this and justin and i've talked about it um, why ours will succeed bigger than even what his is doing is because we want to share the ad revenue equally with the channel holders. So uh, we, our goal is to have everybody be able to, let's say you've got 100,000 followers, you can make a living with 2,500 or 5,000 a month off of that. And that's a whole nother gig. But if this one succeeds, we'll be able to birth all of these others. And we just need your help to get us through because I know God's going to do this. We just need your help right now, please.